Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on Krusty, but first we got to take uh, the Green Goblin and go get the front end of the line. Uh, after I get back, we'll start working on Krusty. I got to uh, retorque the heads and change the oil and stuff in that. Uh, for anybody that don't know, uh, it's got a LS swap in it and uh, I had the engine rebuilt so it's a fresh rebuild and uh, I put a stage 3 turbo cam in it because eventually we're going to go turbo because I want to go fast but uh it's a fresh rebuild and it's had a couple heat cycles so it's time to retorque the heads and button up anything on it to make it drivable again so we can go get it tuned. All right, so we get ready to retorque the head. So I got to take off the cool packs and everything to get to the rocker arms, take the rocker arms off so we can torque the heads on. All right, guys, got the uh, heads all torqued down the spec here. We had to take the intake off because the gasket kind of goes across the bolt there. So we just loosened it up, picked it up, and got time. So he's tightening it down right now. And uh, I guess we'll get started on putting it back together. All right, we got it back together, so I'm just going to start it up real quick and uh, let it build a little heat in the oil so it can drain out a little better. Fuel pump, come on. Is it leaking? So hopefully we got that Alright, we got the oil changed, the heads retorqued. Now we're gonna work on uh, buttoning all this stuff up. I still gotta tighten my bolts on my leaf springs and stuff. And uh, I gotta take these Caltrax bars back off. I'm supposed to put uh, anti-seize on these threads. So I'm gonna take care of that real quick. All right, guys, we're going to uh, go ahead and just set the preload on this. And I know the bed ain't on it, and it's not completely level here, but screw it. We're just going to set it, set the preload, and uh, when I get the bed back on it, we'll just do it again. It's no big deal. Uh, how you set the preload, 
because you got to tighten this down till it hits the spring and then go another quarter turn on the bar to, for more preload. We got it all tightened up most of it we just got to replace these bolts to go in the shackle thing here and i got this tube to make a spacer in there and that's aluminum it was only a dollar more than the steel so that won't rust so i went ahead and got that so that goes right there and then we'll put the bolt through it All right, guys, we got everything tightened and finished back here, so it should be pretty good. But uh, when I was hooking my brake cables back up here, my e-brake cables, I smelt gas, and now this thing's leaking on that side. Uh, I tried to tighten it a little bit, so I guess we'll start it up and see if it's still leaking. guys we are one step closer to getting this thing tuned uh, i got the tarp on here to keep the sun from fading the new paint we just put on there uh thank you guys for watching and subscribing i really appreciate it uh, i guess that's it for this one till next time see ya